You need new spikes. I'm broke. Good luck today, darling. Don't waste the luck, Mum. Hello there, I'm Sarah Hartle, and you are watching Premier Scene. The Olympic hype is well and truly underway, but even more so tonight in Leicester Square as I attend the world premiere of Fast Girls. It's happy September. You have as much right to be here as they do. The first thing I did was read the script for Fast Girls and it immediately just struck a tone. I mean, it's uh, really energetic, really positive and really uplifting. And uh, you sort of think, well, why hasn't this film been made before? And with the Olympics coming up, it made complete sense. So working with Damien Jones, who's just come off the back of the Iron Lady, was a wonderful opportunity and a, and a great cast. So I couldn't say no. Do you think working as a team for this film, because obviously it demands quite a lot of knowledge in the sporting field, did you work particularly closely with anyone prior to filming to learn much more about it? Well, I mean, the first thing I did was go out to a couple of the sports fixtures last summer, so the uh, London Diamond League and the Birmingham Dining Diamond League, and that was my first exposure to a proper sporting athletics meet. So I soaked up the atmosphere, saw how it happened. And also things like reading books as well, like Dame Kelly Holmes' autobiography was a starting point. And from there it just came together piece by piece and uh, now, I'm a, now I'm an expert. And what's your favourite sport? Are you going to carry on watching running or have you had enough now? That's en enough tracks for one year. Well, I've got to say, I'll be watching it from the comfort of a sofa with a hot coffee in my hand. Oh, no, you're not going. Uh, I'm not going, but I tell you, I'll be rooting for them because um, the great thing while we were making the film is the girls were training alongside and filming alongside Team GB. So uh, we've got to know them and uh, can't help but root rooting for them on the racetrack. On your marks, set. I'm in the squad. Bloody right you are. Can I scream now? Yeah, go. And one of the things about the film is the collective uh, uh, thing of, of people being better when they're together and working together and so that that was the relay at, at thing of it you know that the, they uh, have their individual events and they don't win any medals but then there comes the relay team and that's in their big chance so it's about working together even when you don't always get on with each other you can still work together that's very important for real life as well and you personally you've had a wealth of experience why this film well I like the script you know um, I, I used to, when I was very, very much younger, uh, be quite sporty myself. And you know, this film does really pack an emotional punch. There's something really very moving about pe people being in extremists and really, really having to push themselves to get the very best out of themselves. And that kind of touched me, and, uh, and so it was that. I've done cross country in school, and um, I've been a commercial dancer for eight years. So I thought, that I'd have a little bit of an easy ride, but if I'm honest, I was totally wrong because the training, the kind of training we had to do to achieve the kind of results we needed in six weeks was gruelling, and I've never done anything as hard as that in my life. So, Talk me through it. What did you do? Like up at five, running all day? Well, um, we weren't up at five, but we was up probably about seven because me and some of the girls ne lived in North London, so we were commuting to Crystal Palace every day, which was fun. Um, and then we'd, we'd get in, we'd start, we'd warm up, um, doing drills and, and jogs and stuff, and then we'd go out on the track. And we'd do stuff like, there's something that um, Shani calls, I think it's the clock, something or the other. Not going to demonstrate, but I'm going to tell you. So we'd do like 100, 200, 100, with um, a 100 metre walk in between. 200, 100, 100. And we'd do like stuff like that, like 60s back to backs, like crazy crazy stuff then we go in the gym we do like an hour of weights um so i learned how to bench press because i was the weediest out of the girls so i had to like pump my arms up and my upper half um, weights and then we do like 500 plus sit-ups just to finish it off finish us off for the day and um, then i'd eat what i'd made in my tupperware have a protein shake and go home and crush out that was my day that was my life at least you don't feel guilty about eating chocolate though it's fine you can get away with it what <laughs> Looks like Lisa's got a rival. That would be good for her. <laughs> How do you think you'd handle the relay? I'm not very good with teams. I'm like a long jumper in the film, so you see me doing a lot of jumping around. Is that something that came naturally to you? Do you have that type of background? Um, I do triple jump, so I train like six, seven times a week anyway, doing triple jump. So it was kind of like, yeah, I can jump. I, they kind of put me in what I know, so it was good. <laughs> wow, so what sort of advice did you give the other girls then, since you've got that background to help you? I was, I was like, when I'd see them, we all did like a lot of the stuff together, so I'd give them little things like, make sure your arms, tuck your arms in, and, and they'd say like, what would you do if you were standing around? I'd be like, you know, maybe stretch a little bit, and I gave them some sit-ups to do. As well. <laughs> Who was the best? I know you're friends with all of them, but one's got to be fitter than the other. Um, 
Oh, Lily worked really, really, really hard. She, she was the one that was always doing the sit-ups when no one was looking. Sneaky sit-ups. <laughs> Do you think as an actress you're going to take something different away from this film and apply it to your future work? Yeah, I, I really am and I hope that I can hold on to this because it's one of the most important things and something I struggle with all the time is, is about your weight and about how you look and it's not about being skinny and it's not about starving yourself or, or about, it's about being healthy and strong and, and working out and I think that learning to embrace your body, which I did in this film, is, is so important. and. Um, so I'm going to take that away, like the how to eat well, how to exercise well, um, and that that's like an invaluable gift that I've been given. So it's an incredible philosophy to come away with. And for you, what was the largest challenge that you were faced with? Was it the training? Yeah, it was the training. Actually, do you know what though? It was also I focused so hard on the training that when I actually came to filming, some of the acting scenes, I, you know, it, it was all sort of lost in this in this this world of athletics, which is good. But I think um, it was hard sometimes to sort of recalibrate into an actress and then leave the running behind and focus on 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 the, the drama. So, so there was challenges daily, you know. How did you balance that? Because obviously one time you had to be in the mindset of an athlete, but at the same time you're still an actress, you're still playing a role. Yeah, you know, it was became very method and in fact it worked for my character because she is a, a bit of a recluse. I, I did that when I was training because I had no time to do anything else and it, and it got me quite down at times, which I think it does to Lisa as well. So um, it, the two did merge, but at the same time there was a point where you had to sort of forget about the technique and, and act and, and, you know, forget about the pressure of looking right and, uh, and, and let it feed through you even though I'm not an athlete, you know? What the hell was that? That was your fault? Yeah, of course it was my fault because nothing touches the golden goal, does it? I'm not risking my chance of a medal because of her. She's an embarrassment to the team. Underneath the facade of this sporting film, there's a really good story there that's going to grip the audience. I think it's um, a really positive story about a female athlete who you can relate in not just to athletics, to life in general and to have these strong females around for young people growing up now I think is a really positive thing. There's so many negative females out there on TV and promoted so I think yeah I think it's great actually. You're nearly uh, an all-female cast here, is that something you really enjoyed? Yeah I did, I've never had that, it's very very rare but it could have gone very wrong as well didn't at all we got them really really well and overall what do you think the audience is going to take away from this film I mean we're right before the Olympics now so everyone's in the mood for it I think it's going to get them pumped for the film for, for, the, for the Olympics so it's getting me like that I can't wait I think it's going to make some people want to go out and run I think it's going to make some people want to try running I think it's going to make some people just feel good and just get them excited about the Olympics if they weren't before or if they were already I think get them more so Lily was saying it made her so much more aware of health and exercise and fitness. What for you did you take away from this film? It did. It, made, it, it sort of it makes your body feel tired if you're not exercising in a little bit of a way because you you felt so naturally good with what we were doing. It felt right in a way, and uh, it makes you not want to go anywhere near junk food. Lifestyle change or temporary? Temporarily, but uh, <laughs> occasional burger. <laughs> Don't tell, the, don't tell the trainers that. Don't even like them. <laughs> Nearly an all-girl cast here. So what was the atmosphere like on set? Was it bitchy or was it the opposite? Did you all join together and think, let's get through this together? Absolute opposite. We trained together before, prior to filming and we just created this natural bond. You know when you um, get girls together in one room, it can be really hectic. But we were fortunate enough to have a great group of girls and it just worked. Weirdly enough, it perfectly worked. So we're really lucky. When you went for the auditions of this film, were you fairly confident? Are you, were you athletic before? Or were you nervous about this role? Is this something totally new for you? Um, in terms of auditions, I'm always confident, always say I've got the part in my head until they tell me I haven't got the part. So um, the first two auditions I was I was um, adamant to just do my best and just um, nail the character, which I think I did. And in the third audition, we had to do a running test with Jeanette Quachi in Regent's Park running track, which was a little bit crazy. Um, you had to do sit-ups in the park and make run with Jeanette, and her, she was just like shouting orders at us, and it was weird. I've never done a running test in my life, but I, um, I did do athletics when I was in secondary school, so I thought I had a heads up, but... I don't think I did when I realised in the first day of training that it was a lot different than I thought it would be. You had a gruelling audition process and that still didn't deter you from wanting to do this film? Oh, absolutely not. When I first read the script I saw how many strong female parts and strong women of colour as well in the same film all lined up and ready to roar really. Um, so I was, I was excited about it. Nothing really deterred me from 
from making it. I think the, the training helped me along. You've got what it takes. You just got to start playing the game. Note to self, next time you're asked to lift up your top and show the abs that they'll be working with or drop down and do as many press-ups as humanly possible. No, I'm being serious, in the park. Um, because we had a very short amount of time to get in shape and it was actually Jeanette who's somewhere around here who um, had a look at me and put me through my paces in the audition process and it was her job to basically inform the directors and producers what was realistically possible in the time frame we had to getting us looking ripped and in shape. Have you ever been this fit before? Have you ever done this much sport before in your life? Certainly not. I was probably, I probably peaked, which is really sad at the age of 26, but I, um, I probably did peak. It's down here from there, unless something else comes up. Um, but you no, know, certainly did feel the improvement and embrace it, and, and I was definitely very strong. I couldn't do one sit up when I started. I'm now on at 11. Who do you think helped you the most on set? Would you say that it's your director? Or was it the ladies that were the training you that were professional athletes? Um, Shani and Jeanette were incredible. I don't think we could have done it with them. Um, not only physically, but mentally. It was really tough. It was really cold. Um, really punishing schedule, regardless of the physical um, sort of uh, demands that we were going through. But um, I think for different things, you rely on different people in the crew. I mean, that's why there's so many people. There's literally someone for everything. So, um, but the makeup truck is always a huge place um, where you kind of start your day and it's always a really nice atmosphere that kind of get us going. And then yes, on set you need the encouragement of your director, you need the encouragement of your trainers. The thing about our trainers was by the end we really wanted to make them proud. You know when you have that one teacher you really want to impress or you want somebody to kind of give you the thumbs up and we definitely had that with them and they absolutely, well they're here, they're brimming with pride now and, and that's honestly, that means a hell of a lot. And I know that obviously you've got timing on your side and you brought this film out now for a reason, for the Olympics. But what do you think a film based on sport actually needs as the key ingredient to make it a success? Uh, a sport, firstly. Um, it, I think it needs to be aspirational, you know. I, I don't think anyone wants to see, I mean there are plenty of true stories of sports films where the team, the team fail or they all get hit by lightning or something like that. But I think if you're doing a feel good movie, about sport, you know, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel. You have to be aspirational. Everyone knows, everyone knows what's going to happen in Rocky film. You know, he's going to fight, he's going to win. Then he's going to fight the main person or the main person's friend. He's going to get beaten, and he's going to come back at the end. Like we all know what the format is, and so you have to be inspirational, aspirational. And you know, people watch these things and they be like, yeah, yeah, I could do that. You know, and I think that's it's feel good. You know, and you've got good music in the film as well. Yeah. We've been listening to it now, and also. We were saying earlier that the fact that this is obviously so s surrounded on the idea of sport, do you think that the director, the producers played slightly different roles because that input from the athletes training them is so huge? It's not just about the acting in the film. Yeah, the athletes were there every day, like coaching and stuff like that, making sure technique was right. And, you know, we, you know, we went and interviewed the female relay team and the girls went down and saw and we saw met the coaches. So, we, you know, we tried to keep that level of authenticity and kind of just, you know, really make it something special, you know? Let's go out there and show them what we can do. Let's bring it home, girls. And we can do this. Let the games begin. It must have been so motivational for them, but when it got really tough, what did you do to say, do you know what, let's keep going with this? It was a combination. So there was carrot and the stick. So at the end of the day, I said, well, you're going to be six foot tall in a crop top and knickers on the screen in front of millions of people. So do you want to do more abs? <laughs> To which, to which they went, okay. Um, and then there was the speaking about what they were representing. They were representing athletes like Jeanette, and getting down to the really fundamental, serious side of it is like, okay, you can ax this or you can be this. In and they the, all chose yeah, yeah. to be it. And, and in the Olympic year, yeah. I think they knew so the spotlight important. would be on the film. It's, it's going to be huge. And I think that it's, it's a massive thing to inspire young girls as well to hopefully push past the school, school sport and, and try something new. And hopefully, like we said, they look great doing it. And, you know, yeah. what do they say? Look good, run fast. Uh, yeah. yeah, look That's good. That's the run new motto fast. for the film. <laughs> <laughs> look good, run fast. Good, run fast. <laughs> See, I'm thinking of the circus. That'll be the new look. <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> look good and run fast, girl. Not bad.